In these methods, a pair of mice with brown fur are mated. Embryos are isolated from the mother after three days. At this stage of the development, the embryo is called a blastocyst. Blastocysts can be cultured to make colonies of embryonic stem cells, or ES cells. ES cells have the potential to develop into any cell type or tissue. Transgene DNA is then inserted to the ES cells. One technique used is electroporation, which uses a brief electrical pulse to move the DNA to inside the nucleus. The transgene contains a marker which is used to select only those ES cells that have integrated the transgene DNA. The selected ES cells are then cultured to form their own colonies. PCR and southern blots are then used to test the colonies to find the cells in which a homologous recombination has occurred. These cells are then maintained in the culture and used in subsequent steps. For the next step, blastocysts are collected from the mouse, this time an albino. ES cells are then injected into the blastocysts under the microscope, and the blastocysts are implanted into a foster mother and allowed to develop. The offspring that results is a chimera. A chimera is an organism containing tissues with different genotypes. These chimeras have some parts that developed from the albino blastocyst cells and other parts from the injected ES cells, which originally came from the brown mice. Which part of the body comes from which cells is entirely random. To establish a line of mice with a new transgene, it is necessary to find chimeras whose germline cells, that is, sperm or egg cells, have developed from the injected ES cells. This is done by breeding the chimeras with albino mice. In some chimeras, the germline cells are not from the ES cells, and the offspring will be albino. In others, the germline cells are from the ES cells, and the offspring will be brown. These mice can be used to found the colony. From the initial designing steps of the transgene DNA,